I definitely think I connect most with most with what a wonderful world. In my eyes, it's my story of fighting. I guess the normality. I come from a family of builders. <laughs> Everyone on my dad's side of the family is a builder, a construction worker, and I'm the most different thing to come out of his whole family. I know that for sure. Um, and this is really just, that whole scene is just a belief in your imagination, a belief in your art, which has taken me a long time to believe in. Yes, I think to myself, wow, what a wonderful So it's day three of our show and we're at a brand new um, stage. So it was um, twice as big as the other one from the previous two shows. So it was, um, we needed a bit of a um, prep talk because I think everyone was getting a bit psyched out. Yeah. Um, so passed that I saw down and he was just sharing with us how important it is to remember why we were where we were why we were doing what we were doing and who we were doing it for. Just reminding ourselves the magnitude of what this trip was and yeah. what it meant. And um, yeah, things got emotional. <laughs> things got real. Bro, I'm telling you, like I'm tough. But when it comes to things like that, oh. Do you want us to cry again? Do you want us to cry again? No, I want to know. Who do you Go to Tisha. Why are you here? I do this for, I'm grateful for my parents, um, also grateful for Pa, um, also grateful for my friend, my best friend. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't know where I'll be without this one. And our family back at home, like, we want to make them proud and Obviously, we're doing stuff that they're probably not going to do ever. Ever. So, yeah, definitely. And we take them with us everywhere. Like, most of our kids in there are, like, young South Auckland kids that come from nothing. And, you know, they started with their families moving over from the islands, just trying to provide for the ones back home. And now, because of their sacrifices, their kids are living their dreams and doing what they love every day. And I can't imagine how proud they, they all feel of all, their, of all their children and the things that they're doing. How do you feel? Oh, I'm, I'm performing guys. I wasn't supposed to, but I am now. Remember when I was on the bed? Yeah. I'm a new girl this today. I can do those guys. Technique. Whoa. Whoa, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm doing the show, guys. <laughs> good rehearsal. Really good rehearsal. Um, we're on stage tonight on the new Jubilee stage. Super big, super exciting. The kids are really ready. They've, yeah, they just smashed out two shows um, past two nights and then tonight they're like, they're really ready. It's going to be a great show. <laughs>
obviously we were really happy with our first two shows, um, but not every show can be perfect. Yeah. And unfortunately, the third show was that one. Um, but yeah, we had these like big ass screens on the side of the stage that no, no one was ready about for. as well. So it was just like it's not like always in the center or a wide shot or anything. Like it could, it was going everywhere, everywhere. on stage. I wasn't happy that you could see people at the back not performing and stuff. We watch the show from the front and we always see the front row. The problem you had tonight is there's two 10 meter screens, one on each side of the stage, right? And, and they show everything. So what they show most of is the people in the second and the third row for our dancers. And then if you're in a formation, they show if you're not, your face is not showing any emotion. And on that 10 meter screen, you stand out like a sore thumb. That was our third shoe, and we needed to be on fire for our last shoe. Hi everyone, we're here at the Aotearoa Pavilion here in Dubai. Um, everyone's getting ready to go through, as you can see behind me. We're super excited um, to see what our country is giving here in Dubai. Kia ora, kia ora. Um, we're just off to see the waterfall. Do you know what the waterfall is called, Glenn? Uh, no. Uh, it's called uh, No. We're just going to see the waterfall. And yeah, be back at five for our show. Last show on ways. Over! We're up to the waterfalls. We're going to the buffet and take photos. It's our first time going to um, this place. To this place. So we so. can't wait. We're bringing you along. Glenn just lost his shoe. <laughs> it's fine. You know it's why? Fine. He's Everything dedicated. for the shot. Everything. Glenn, watch out. There's a tree. tree. <laughs> Glenn, yeah. Glenn's so good. Glenn, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, here oh we man. are. This is the waterfall. Let's this is the waterfall. Oh my, oh my god. This is the waterfall. Like, as you can see, there's like one right there. And there's like this wall. It's, it, it, it looks fake, but it is actually water coming down from it. Like Glenn showed in the shop. For the singers and dancers and for us for it being the last show, I think it was game time for everyone. It was just like we want to put on a good show for everyone and the whole world to see as well. So um, I think it also like came down to like wow it's like the last the journey you know what yeah. I mean? like we had been on this journey for these last few months with each other and it was like realizing wow this is the last time we're ever going to perform this show it was so emotional because like coming back knowing that it was our last day of the singers and like we worked on this for so long so it was like this is our last show yeah oh so sad we um got wristbands and we wrote down the people that we were doing the show for. Our wives. Our wives, so I put down everyone that was in my family, my mum, my dad, my sisters, my nieces and nephews, my nana, my papa. That was really cool to um, acknowledge them on our wrists and just take, our, um, take them with us on the stage. Uh, it's our final show tonight for Voice of Youth. Uh, very exciting, we've been working hard to be able to perform on a world stage in front of all these hundreds of countries here is amazing. So it's a, it's really a dream come true moment and a hard work pays off moment. Hey, hey. I'm not great guys. No, I'm doing my business. Tell us why you're emotional. I'm emotional because it's our last show. So it's very emotional. But yeah. Hey. I think just for me this is the last time this group will perform together it's been such a special show so we just need to give it our all like you just have to walk off there in that last hour and know that you did everything you could to make that a magical show what a blessing for us to be standing in Dubai a bunch of Kiwis and on a world stage like this so and you know when you're standing on the side ready to go on Take a moment, take a deep breath and just take it all in.
I reckon it was the best show. It's because everyone was performing it to their best, you know. And it was our last time doing the Musagi show, so we all wanted it to be the best. When you're standing on the side and you're just watching them mm. like dance their hearts out and you know what they did to get to that moment, you can't help but scream and yeah. cheer for them because it's like, wow, wow, yeah, they deserve the praise. They were so cool. The last show felt so, so special. I sat right on the pit, like on the barrier. So I was watching front row. No one was in front of me, but feeling the energy of everyone behind me. It definitely just felt like nothing I've ever felt before to see so much work and passion and then feel the reciprocation of the audience enjoying it as well. In that moment, I was super proud of all these kids and all of our team who put in so much work. It felt like everything did pay off in the end. So when I look back at this trip, me five years ago, or four years, I'd never have thought I'd be in like a show of the youth and like performing in Dubai. It's just like, it's, it's buzzing here yeah, to see where I'm at now, yeah. The biggest lesson I learned is that I think family is the most important thing. Yeah, I love my family, I love you guys. How do you think your family feels knowing that you've done this? Very proud. Oh, yeah, I hope that yeah, they're proud. proud. Yeah, it's just cool to have our family to support us all the way through as well. Do you think they're proud? Oh, so proud. Yeah. They'll be, they're so proud of me. <laughs> what do you want to say to them? Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Um, I just want to say um, thank you to my parents for, um, for everything. Um, they've sacrificed a lot for me to be out here. So um, the least I could do is just to make them proud and do what I love. For all the dancers out there that want to get into this, believe in yourself. Because like, dreams do come true.